Hello everyone, it is I, um, if I have my stupid pointer in the way, it is I, Grid21, and I'm actually here doing a plugin tutorial on a plugin called IP Lock, or IPL for short. IP Lock is a plugin in which you can protect your players' accounts so that when they log into a server, their IP from their computer is tied to their username and if they try to log in at a different computer with a different IP address, the server will not let them on. This also has dynamic DNS support, so they could use the MAC address of their network card to log into the server. So I'm going to go over, um, uh, let me just get my interface back, I'm going to go over a series of commands and uh, explain to you how to uh, add an IP, remove an IP, and also how to go over the config file with you. So the first thing we're going to do is IPL, I believe it's IPL help, and you can see that the command list is very simple. We have IPL remove, player name, IPL add, player, DNS, slash IP, and IPL help, which we're already sort of in the help anyway. So I, let's see, I need to, so for instance, um, <clears throat> For the sake of argument, let's just say I wanted to add somebody to my uh, server and I wanted to add their IP. So I could do uh, IPL add, and let's just call this uh, person um, Dan. And we're going to just make up a random IP address. I uh, don't want to use an actual one for the sake of security. So I'll do like this, and well, I don't think it'll be. So, you know what? Yeah, we'll just do this. Six dot. 555.555 five, 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 and I think there will be like an extra one on the end. So once you've gotten that written out, it will you hit enter, and it says successful. And what this has done is that in the uh, lock.yml file, it has now added um, this IP address to the uh, to the lock file, and the lock file basically has all your players' names with their assorted IP addresses. Um, for a DNS, I wouldn't, um, yeah, I believe you would, um, let me think about this. <laughs> um, I guess it would work in the same respect, so if you had their DNS address or their IP address, uh, you could add that in the same respect. So to add a player and their IP address goes for the same for your DNS and your uh, IP. Um, let's see, for the in-game commands, it's, it's very simple, and let's say if we wanted to remove uh, Dan, so we'll change that to uh, remove. We have now successfully removed Dan and his IP address from the uh, lock file. Uh, so I will switch out of uh, game and I will uh, take you through the config file and all the assorted files that uh, go with this plugin. Okay, so we are now in the config file for IP lock, and I'm just going to go over some very basic uh, configuration and setup. And whatnot. This is actually probably one of the more simpler plugins I've seen to configure. So uh, I believe the first one I want to go over is the settings.yml. And what this does is <clears throat> there basically is a setting that says everybody colon true. What this means is that anybody that wants to log into your server if their IP address and username is not in the other file that I would like to discuss, which is the lock.yml, they will not be allowed on the server. Um, which brings me to my next point, which is the lock.yml. This file consists of all the player names or usernames and their IP addresses or their DNS addresses. So, for instance, remember how that we added and removed Dan, our test player, in-game uh, through using the in-game commands. Well, you can also manually add people in the config file as well. So, for instance, I could type in uh, Dan colon five five dot and five dot six five. So now that Dan, our test subject, is in the lock.yml with this setting set to true. 
and him being in here, our player Dan will now be able to access the server because he has been logged into the lock.yml. Very simple, very easy, and when you use the console or in-game commands, you are basically affecting this file when you add or remove people um, through the, uh, the commands that are available. Admins, I believe, this is one of those files I haven't exactly played with before, but I believe that if you were to add, like, admin, um, admin, I shall add myself, and I'm going to put a fake IP for protection reasons, dot, blah, 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 dot, and of course you wouldn't have an IP address that long. Yeah. Okay, so if, if the server saw my name with this IP address, it would allow me on the server because I am the admin and I have special permission to log in. I believe it is regardless whether this is true or not. I think, oh, I'm sorry, no, if this would be true and this was logged in here, that would be able to sort of override the plugin. Next one is uh, messages. Self-explanatory has all the messages. This one, uh, your IP does not match IP, does not match IP update or started and enter correct host. So <clears throat> if the player that is trying to log in does n is not in the log.yml file, they will be kicked from the server because their IP is not logged into here. When a player is logged into log.yml, they will ha see a message in chat which says valid, um, which indicates that they are a valid player. They have been recorded by the server or by the log.yml file, ensuring that they are uh, recorded and they're a valid user. Uh, next one is your admin. So I believe this will this message will appears when you log into the server if your name is in the admin.yml. Uh, I believe that is pretty much it. And of course, you can just erase the person's name, and uh, that's you know you can manually add or remove people in the YML file. I believe that also these two are. Uh, two addresses that might actually be that might actually validate people's IPs um, I will have to go into further research or you could um, ask the developer himself I have had the pleasure of being able to speak with him personally and has given me um, quite a bit of information about his plugin and how it works now you're probably sitting here thinking okay this is great but what's the point of it this is for say if you have an open server and it's hosted on some server hosting website and you want to ensure that the players that log into your server do not get hacked or you don't have issues with having hacked clients because unfortunately that's very common on the Minecraft community. Uh, but this basically will ensure security and that if their MAC address, their DNS, or, or dynamic DNS, or their IP address is not in the lock.yml, they will not be allowed on the server. So for instance, say if our test subject, Dan, was hacked by somebody, and somebody tried logging in as him from another location, and say I had his MAC address and his IP, or maybe one of the singular choices, uh, that person will not be able to log into the server because their IP address is different and or their MAC address is different, or both. Um, the only downside is is that people, unfortunately, people don't know how to mask IP addresses from another computer, make it look legitimate when it's not, uh, which in that case, you could use the DNS or their MAC address. I, b I believe their, uh, from what I understand, their DNS is the, uh, or th the DNS and MAC address, I believe, coincide with each other in that the MAC address is the address of their network card that they use to access the internet. I believe that's how that works. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but that's from what I understand from people that I've talked to who do networking. That is how I believe that is how that works. Um, so basically, this can be a uh, sort of um, security verification plugin uh, to prevent hacking, to make your server more secure. In my case, I have a whitelisted server, and I want to ensure double security so that not only do they have to be in the whitelist. Uh, file, but they also have to be in the YML, the lock.yml file. So in that case, I would then add a person's IP address and their MAC address 
or any one of the singular choices into the log.yml so that when they go to log into the server, they're logged in there and the server will allow them to come on to the server and it ensures that they are a valid, um, that their connection and their, um, uh, what's the word, uh, that their IP and such is all valid and all that kind of stuff. So basically this is like a verification plugin for your server to ensure extra security from hackers and whatnot. Um, the only downside I have to say to this is that when a when the uh, person first time logs into the server, they will be automatically kicked. And the reason for this is that because obviously that their username and uh, and IP have not been logged into this um, into this file. So in which case that once they trip the server, you just be like, okay, we're just gonna quickly copy and paste their. Uh, username and password, or sorry, not the username, <laughs> not their password, their username and their IP address into the lock.yml file, and then next time they try to log in, they will be allowed in because they are recorded in this file. Whew. Okay, that was a lot to take in, but it is very simple to work with. I really like it. I feel like that when people log in, I have, a, I have extra security and extra assurance that I might have less of a chance of people getting, of people's accounts being hacked. So I hope that you found this helpful. I know this is kind of lengthy. I'm really sorry. Um, this is my first time trying to do this. But if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll put a link in the description below. Also, if you have any other questions about how the plugin works in further detail, you can contact the developer. I will also, uh, when I put the link in the description, his uh, profile will already be there and whatnot so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging on while i try to explain this and thank and yeah just thank you for watching have a really rock awesome day